Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Star... Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Star Lord of the Rim Wars. When we last left off, we had just started a fight against the forces of evil here. Well, as evil as forces can be in this particular uh, situation. Um, we are presently... It's gonna be a bit of a rough situation for us here. I mean, we've got... We're dealing with werewolves. Uh, our horses, which are wandering around over there. And, okay, run, people. Run out of here as quick as you can. Alright, here's the strategy. Because we're greatly outnumbered and this werewolf... Um, the werewolf makes it... Very unlikely that I'll be able to hold the line here because this werewolf can like easily punch through us. We're gonna have to use an even more cheesy strategy. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to load up onto the planet here. And basically the idea is we're going to use entering and leaving the map as a way to kind of cheese the AI and make them... We'll hit rest here and just have them rest while we're, uh, while we're still fleeing. I hope these guys are fast enough. We've got, like, half these people, like, bursting to the gills on drugs. So they are relatively fast. We've managed to avoid taking too much in the way of damage. I wish I could focus fire while, um, while we are running. Oh, and there goes Bell. Yeah, I really want to take the werewolf out. But, uh, yeah, that's not... Not likely to happen anytime soon. Okay, so the idea here... Yeah, I know about the poison ship. So, yeah, now they're all going to go after Abby. Which is pretty useful for me. So, basically... Actually, to be honest, I could... With just one person, I could keep this strategy going forever until these guys starve to death. Which would... Well, actually, I would need two people, because there's got to be at least one pawn on the map at all times, or else the whole thing uh, just resets itself. Alright, so we're going to wait as long as possible. I actually might get Abby to retreat all the way over here. But yeah, Abby's basically going to be our... Um, our, uh, our... Our thing. Yes. Whatever that thing is, that is what Abby is. Alright, so yeah, basically... Uh, though I, sh I should be careful about this, because we obviously don't want poor Abby to... ...to suffer unduly by herself. Uh, don't stand on the bush, please. You go there, you go there. So everyone's gonna be lined up. I think Abby can safely... L oh, she can't even shoot at these guys, so... Abby is now gonna retreat off the map. Which is then going to cause these guys to all run back the other way. The thinking. And I guess I, I could just put her back on the map right away and then just have her run to another corner. And I might actually want to do that. Because the only down potential downside to this strategy is that there's always a possibility that, uh, you know, the next group that spawns in is going to spawn on a, uh, like, next to where the guys already are. So actually, maybe with that in mind, let's, uh... Yeah, you see, Abby spawned in here, and that would have been really unfortunate for us. So what I'm going to do is have Abby start running now. And that way she'll be well out of the way. And we can, like, cheese things by having her, like, over here. You see, there are many ways to, um, to survive in the rim, even when all hope seems to have failed. You know what I just noticed? You're not actually in cover. So, I think I'll move everyone up a little bit. Yeah, that tree counts as cover. So yeah, and then when they come in here... Uh, let's have everyone... I mean, everyone's gonna focus on this guy anyway. He's the fastest, because he's on drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. Also, depending on how accurate our colonists are, this this could take a really long time to 
to do. Oh, I might want to focus on Rin instead. Let's actually retreat everyone down to the corner here. That way we can do a bit of a... Give Abby a bit more time. Hey, Steins has become a werewolf again. Good for him. All right, we're just kind of randomly shooting at people. Gundalf has taken a bit of a bit of damage here, but so far, actually, what kind of damage has he taken? I mean, an LMG. He'll be able to patch that up during the the uh, retreat phase of all this. Okay, we have some people from the Galactic Empire visiting. I swear to God, if they demand another tariff when we've already given them a tariff, I will be ever so angry. Oh dear. What is this? Rin and Stewie equipped about lovers. Well, good for you. Let's try to kill Rin, because he's got an explosive. Or it, wait, it's a she. You know, in RimWorld, I always get the genders mixed up for some reason. They're really not that hard. And yet, here we are. Okay, let's get off the map. All right, so you guys, you guys just rest. Also, that way, once day comes, we don't accidentally screw things up here. All right, now they're all going to come after Rin. Or after Abby, rather. Okay, so, as you can see, I mean, we've, we've dealt a little bit of damage. I mean, we've even got people who are, like, slowly bleeding to death, which is... I mean, I don't, I don't want to be here for 20 hours, but if it takes me all game day in order to do this, then yeah, I mean, a couple of people will bleed out. That'll be handy. The drugs are going to wear off. These guys, since they're going to be too busy fighting, they won't even be able to eat, so they may even start starving and they won't be able to sleep and all kinds of stuff's going to happen. They might have mental breaks and it's just going to be bad for them all around. I would laugh if we spawned on this edge right here. Well, actually, I wouldn't laugh. I would probably cry. Is what would actually happen, but, um... Aside from that... Alright, I think they've probably had enough time to patch themselves up. Oh, good. That's the perfect corner to have shown up on. And let's, uh, do a quick change of the animal area here. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just have Abby flee off the map. So flee off the map, Abby. There you go. Good for you, Abby. Oh, and uh, you can rest. Get a little bit of sleep in there. You've earned it. All right, and you guys are again placed. I'm going to actually move Gundelf so he's even closer to the edge of the map. Because I don't want... Because he's the slowest of them all. So I, I do want to... I do want to give him the best chance of actually escaping. And as you can see, Gundelf did patch himself up. All right. The Shire was happy with their visit. That's good. That makes me happy. And again, we continue going here. You know what? If I could trigger a Manhunter pack, that would also be good. But I don't I don't really trust... Uh, that's a lot of spaceship chunks. I don't really trust that to uh, go my way. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious about that. I might also fast forward in a moment. Because I think now that you see the basic strategy, like, it's... I, I feel it has the possibility of becoming tedious. So... You know, we'll uh, see what we what we see, I guess. There we go, and we'll uh, kind of run our way up there. Hopefully, I get a few more shots in again. No, you know what? I could actually have Abby spend this. Oh no, no, she'd have to get in range of the turrets because she has like the weakest gun. Everyone is focused on Jim, right? All right, everyone change your focus onto Arlene here. We got a couple of headshots in. That's great. I mean, how, how's it looking? 12 hours, your nose was shot off. I, I'm i going to get in one more volley and then we're going to run. Or maybe not. We might be able to hold the line here. Or wait, where's that werewolf? Where's Abby? No one's chasing Abby yet, are they? Okay, we've taken a, a couple of hits. I might want to... Okay, yeah, now is probably... Probably the time to pull back. 
Okay. Put the blaster. And then we are pulling out of here. All right, pull out everyone. All right, I mean we've we've taken out two people. That's that's a plus. I mean we're gonna have to do a lot of uh, a lot of work here in order to. All right. And yeah, meanwhile Abby will head up here where it's reasonably safe. She is probably not going to get any. I should you know what I should have gave her a sniper rifle. Because that would have made her really useful, in fact. Oh, 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 it's also daytime, so these guys are probably going to be moving away. Let's have them rest here. And, yeah, all right. So, yeah, here's a, another classic RimWorld strategy. If you find yourself facing a superior foe, you can cheese them as long as you have at least two people. Oh, yeah, and Rosa this whole time has been sitting here with this. With this catapult. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. All we need to do is, like, once we enter the kill zone for the catapult, we just keep running. Maybe, like, have Gundelf meditate and then do a force speed run right into her face and then, you know, punch her in said face. Rin is still living, huh? Cool, cool thing for you, Rin. Eight hours left. So, yeah, people are going to start bleeding out soon enough. So that's, that's a plus, I guess. All right, there's Abby. Everyone's in the middle of the map, so I feel safe uh, having us turn in and begin our fight. So again, I guess uh, take up... Oh, where's some good positions? I want to maximize... Actually, I should keep us down here, shouldn't I? This is probably the ideal spot. Okay. But yeah, again, everyone outranges poor Abby, so... Oh wait, no, Ray Wolfen doesn't, because he's only got a shotgun. So Abby might actually be able to get a few shots in here. Dines is a hu human again, good for him. Alright, retreat, Abby! I mean, if we can, if we can bleed him out, that'd be great. Six hours, okay. He's also still high on the drugs. Good, good. And Steins is a werewolf again. Five hours. All right, Abby, make a... Actually, I'm going to push my luck just a little bit here. I probably shouldn't. Oh, yeah, Steins is getting in here. Run, Abby! Save yourself! Oh, and actually, in this case, I'll have Abby jump back in. Yeah, because she's going to show up over here. Okay. But as you can see, again, this is, like, working out beautifully, though it is taking a while. So... What, what's going on over here? Is there a social fight? What, what's happening here? Oh, Joe Ped's gone berserk. See, that's another benefit. It takes long enough that eventually social fights and stuff start breaking out. Okay, and Joe Pet is now down. You're an undergrounder, pretty great. You're incapable of caring or social, but that's okay. But then again, you're not really great at anything else, so I don't know if you're worth uh, worth protecting or saving. Yeah, and you've lost some body parts. I'll I'll let that one go, I think. But yeah, see, they're starting to turn on each other. The stress is getting to them. This is honestly like the best uh, outcome we could have hoped for. Even though, again, it is taking, like, a really long time in order to pull off. That's Steins over there. There it is. Or he is, I guess. Steins is a he. Steins is a he, right? He is. Oh, he's in a berserk now. Bit of a shame he didn't turn into a werewolf, because then he would be able to... He's also blind? Alright, so they're taking out their werewolf, which at... And they just straight up killed their werewolf. Okay, so theoretically now, I think I could actually hold the line on this. Possibly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All 
Are we in range? We are not in range of that guy. Okay, so this is a perfect time for us to retreat over here. I mean, we could keep doing the same strategy we've been doing, but, uh... You know, now that we're- now that we're getting close to, uh, like, a real victory, I'm- I'm kind of thinking to myself, maybe... Maybe the time for cheese is over. Where's Abby? Abby is over here, so we'll have Abby, like, sneak on up here. Just in case. oh dear. Just in case. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident at this point. Oh yeah, look at that. They're they're running away. Also, uh, Mullion, are you are you good at anything? You're a tough, nervous gay guy. I mean, you have a passion for cooking. You're pretty good at social. You got some animals in there. I mean, you don't have any skills that are new, but you could help with the distribution of labor, I guess. So, I guess what I'm saying is we will see. Ah, yes, and we've still got Rosa, and we also have all of these guns to deal with, so that's another, another issue. I think because, like, at this point, it's just, like, tedious getting rid of guns, perhaps I will cut away at this point. So I need to get everyone into, like, this very narrow area here, where we are just outside of the range of the guns, but we're also out of the range of, uh... Rosa's catapult there. Oh god, no! Gundelf! Oh dear lord, Gundelf. This this can't be happening. Gundelf the Grey isn't supposed to be, uh... Alright, I guess that... That's also that, so let's, um... Let's expand the home zone to be a relatively large area around here. And we will then allow, yeah, we'll un-recruit everyone, restrict them to the home zone. Uh, someone will patch up Gundelf in a timely fashion, I hope. And aside from that... Oh good, Gundelf is already capable of getting up again. So in that case, um, okay, he can't actually do anything there, so equip these things. And I am- I'm gonna just clean things up here, because this episode has basically just been one micromanaged, uh, encounter. Yeah, you run, Jim. I never liked Jim. Stupid Jim. Anyway, actually, um, let's see here. And I'll handle this, and I will come back in when we're ready to, uh, ready to leave again. Okay, and we're just about finished. I think this is the last, uh, the last turret. Okay, so, yeah, there we go. Last turret, that's down. Rosa is in here somewhere. So, we'll just, uh, you know, go up to the door and just give a, a, a gentle knock. Alright. So, open up in there. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Rose is still in here. Oh, what do you know? She's sleeping. Everyone gather in! Rush the room! Uh, okay, Han. Good, good job. Well, that was, uh, that was rather convenient. Pretty much everyone is happy with us for that, except for, uh... Not even in immediate danger. I'm not gonna save you. I'm not gonna save you, my horrid aunt person who, uh... Who our beloved Han doesn't even really care about that much, surely. Anyway, I guess now the only thing left to do is deconstruct everything, so let's, uh... Let's get deconstructing. Uh, I want to be a bit more careful about deconstructing the buildings, though. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll, like, take apart all of this, all of that. This is made out of granite, so we'll work on deconstructing this as well. And the rest, we'll just, um... Yeah, we've already claimed it, so... 
Might as well check out the loot and plunder that we now have upon us. Then we'll get back to the other many important things that we have uh, going on here. You're all good? Or actually, yeah, let's, uh, we'll unrestrict everyone. That way they can do whatever they want. And I guess in this case that includes smoking pipe weed. And yeah, I would rather deconstruct everything and take the resources back. Though then again... I could just uninstall... and take these back. I mean, there's really nothing that says I can't do that. Alright, these are all going to be claimed. Unrestrict, or unrecruit, unrecruit. We got some uh, fermenting barrels going here, that's pretty good. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to just, as usual, fast forward past this and we will... Yeah, let life uh, go as it will. So, until we cut back in, as always. Uh, well, actually, this isn't the end of the episode, is it? Well, actually, you know what? I think I will wrap things up a little early today. Just cuz. And we will move back next episode to go fight the smaller and presumably easier outpost. Hopefully. And, yeah. So, that is... That is that. So again, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.